PC router, this computer runs it. The only software installed here is Techno. It'll only run an NC file extension. Those file extensions are really important. Here's my piece of ash or a piece of cherry, whatever would you decide to use. I'm going to actually fixture it down two different ways. I'm going to use tape so when the parts cut out and I'm done cutting it, it doesn't come flying out. So I use this double-sided tape. But then in addition to that, I'm also going to screw down the corner. This is okay. square here. And then I'm going to square that board I'm up. screw the corners down. Because I know those screws will be out on my tool pass as I'm cutting hearts out. So if you're going to do like a rectangular box that uses all your woods, then you might have to do it differently. If you run that bit into a screw, it's going to break that $30, $20 bit. If you don't drill a pilot hole, you're going to split your wood. Get out of the way. Okay. Then I'll put those other draw screws in. Here's on it. So I'm going to draw right here. And across here this way. And there's the exact center of my board. So I'm going to bring my bit down on the center there. And I'm going to use a quarter inch flat end mill. Let me bring it all the way forward to the, the top of it. And then down here, these are dual action collets. Let me loosen up, I'll show you. I loosen it up. Man, it's hard to loosen. I loosen it up, I keep unscrewing it. It's, it's hard to turn. I push past that hard point, and then the bit comes out. This is an eighth inch flat end mill. I don't want that, I want a quarter inch flat end mill. I can't just put this you know, a $25 bit down anywhere. If I drop it, it'll break. It's really hard steel. So I want to make sure it's in a box or in a block of wood or something. Here's a quarter inch flat end mill that goes into the collet. Here, let me pull this collet off. I'll show you. So here's the collet. It slides in there. How far it goes in, it determines how much deflection you get, right? So if just a little bit goes in, it doesn't have much hold on that shaft. So you really want to go in pretty deep, but not to the point where the cutters are touching the collet. And then you want to screw that in. What you need to do next is bring that bit to those crosshairs there. This is just like Cartesian coordinate plane. Bring it down. I'm going to travel pretty fast till I get close. I want to go in the Y. I'll go over in the X, down in the Y. And then once I get close like that, then I'm gonna speed, slow my jog speed down to like five or 10, okay? Now I could bring it in a lot more accurately. Yeah, my eye is right at the level of that board and I bring it down till it's just barely touching that board. I'm calling that my new <laughs> origin. So on the screen here, I have to say this is my new origin. So I go down here to zero. I want to zero all my coordinates. Now this is my new origin and I'm drafting up off of that point. Everybody get that? Then your file's on a flash drive. You go file. You bring it in off of the flash drive, which is an E drive. Then once the whole file's in there, you want to pre-process it. You want to preview it. Um, once you preview it, you'll be able to see if it's your, the right file. And then you'll be able to exit it. And then you're going to start running it right here with your finger on the pause button. If you need to stop, and you hit the red emergency stop, you can't go back to where you were. So if it's an emergency, hit the red stop. If it's not, if it's just cutting too quickly or not zeroed perfectly, hit this black pause button. Come get me and we'll figure out what the problem is. Don't start running it without your finger on the pause button. Any questions about process? Zero. Bring it in. Let me preview that. So that's my right file. I see those red cross here are the center of the board. That's important to know. And now I'm ready to run. So right here is my run time, five minutes and 49 seconds. Everything's clear, up out of the way. Quarter inch bits in. I hit start. Um, it says low tool, meaning is there a quarter inch bit in there? It is, so I'm going to hit resume.